How do tornadoes form? Why do they form? And how is this possible? Tornadoes are some of the most powerful and destructive forces of nature. They seem to come out of nowhere, leaving a trail of devastation behind them. How do these twisting columns of wind actually take shape? What conditions create them? And why do they form in some areas more often than others? But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and follow Science by PK for more fascinating science breakdowns just like this one. Let's dive right into it. Tornadoes form during thunderstorms, specifically a rare and powerful type of thunderstorm called the supercell. Supercells are massive thunderstorms with rotating updrafts of air, and they are the perfect breeding ground for tornadoes. So how does this rotation start? It all begins with wind shear, which occurs when winds at different altitudes move at different speeds or directions. Imagine the wind close to the ground moving slowly in one direction, while stronger winds high in the atmosphere blow faster in a different direction. This creates a rolling motion in the air, like an invisible horizontal cylinder spinning above the ground. Now this horizontal spinning air doesn't just become a tornado just yet. The next critical ingredient is an updraft. This is when warm, moist air near the surface rises into the atmosphere. When that rising air tilts, the spinning horizontal winds start to turn into a vertical position. This forms a rotating column of air inside the storm. This is called a moist cyclone, and it's the heart of a supercell. But not all moist, moist cyclones produce tornadoes. For a tornado to form, the conditions must be just right. The rotating air in the mesocyclone begins to stretch vertically, tightening like an ice skater pulling their arms during a spin. This is when a funnel cloud appears. If the funnel reaches the ground, it officially becomes a tornado. So why do tornadoes form in certain areas more often than others? A lot of it comes down to geography. In the United States, there's a region called Tornado Alley, which stretches from Texas to South Dakota. This area is a hot spot for tornadoes because it's where warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico meets cool, dry air from Canada and the Rocky Mountains. This clash of air masses creates the instability needed for tornado formation. But tornadoes aren't exclusive to Tornado Alley. They've been recorded on every continent except Antarctica. Countries like Bangladesh, South Africa, and even parts of Europe experience tornadoes, though they are less frequent than the US. So what makes tornadoes so destructive? It's their wind speeds. Tornadoes are ranked on the U-linked Fujita scale or EF scale, which ranges from EF0 to EF5. EF0 tornadoes are the weakest, with winds around 60 to 85 miles per hour, still enough to cause damage at other ends of the spectrum. But EF5 tornadoes have wind speeds accelerating 200 miles per hour, capable of leveling entire neighborhoods. The most dangerous aspect of a tornado isn't just the wind, it's the debris it picks up. Pieces of buildings, trees, and even cars can become deadly projectiles, making tornadoes incredibly hazardous. So how is this possible for nature to create something so powerful and destructive. It's all about the per perfect combination of ingredients. Warm, moist air, cold, dry air, wind shears, and atmospheric instability. When all these elements come together, they create the perfect storm, literally. But here's something to think about. Scientists still don't fully understand why some supercells produce tornadoes and others don't. It's one of the biggest mysteries in meteorology. Tornadoes remain unpredictable despite advances in weather technology technology. However, tools like the Doppler radar and storm chasing research teams have significantly improved our ability to detect and warn people about tornadoes. Tornadoes are a reminder of nature's incredible power and complexity. They form through a delicate balance of forces, and when that balance is tipped just right, it creates one of the most awe-inspiring and terrifying phenomena on Earth. If you enjoyed this deep dive into science of tornadoes, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Science by PK, and let us know in the comments if you would like us to cover more weather phenomena. And we'll see you in the next one.